Hi guys, it's Ben here on a very, very bright Saturday morning uh, in London. It's just before 8 a.m. and I'm about to get on the tube to Euston to get the train to Birmingham. I've just been text saying my train's cancelled, so that's a good start. Um, fortunately though, you can get the train before and after according to the Virgin website, so I'm going to try and get the one before. If not, the one after should be fine. Um, definitely should be getting to Birmingham anyway and then onto the Hawthorns via the Metro. Um, meeting my mate there, travelling alone today. Uh, for those of you that saw my preview, uh, will know that I've got a really bad eye. Uh, you'll be pleased to know that it's actually feeling really good at the moment. Um, if you didn't see my preview then you probably don't care, you can care less. Um, I've seen the rumour team for today um, on Twitter. Uh, you, recently these have been pretty accurate, so it looks like no Firmino, which is a disaster for my draft fantasy team. Um, so yeah, Mane, Salah and Danny Ings up front. Uh, uh, Joe Gomez back in, uh, Moreno back in, um, no Oxlade Chamberlain, Henderson Van Alden Milner midfield. So let, 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 let's let's see if that uh, let's see if that um, that team is correct. If so, it's obviously not full strength, but it's it's strong and it's it should be good enough to see off West Brom. And I really want to see Danny Ings score a goal this season. Um, that's one of my biggest sort of aimed for the rest of the campaign, besides winning the Champions League, it's for Danny Ings to score a goal. So let's hope he does that, let's hope we win the game, let's hope we get a clean sheet, let's have a nice day. It's going to rain later, so, you know, dreading that, but um, just an up and back day job for me today, not staying over. I want to get back home for the boxing tonight. Let's go. Not only is my train cancelled, I've brought the wrong earphones, haven't I? I've brought the old iPhone earphones. So, no music, no podcasts, and maybe more sitting around. This isn't good, is it? So mid on the earlier train in first class with no problems, available seat. Happy days. Have the roads. post-match Nando's, uh, much needed, uh, much enjoyed after a long wait, um, but yeah, obviously didn't go as planned, 2-0 um, lead, uh, pegged back to a 2 draw in the end there at West Brom, failed to beat them this season in three attempts, two uh, draws and a defeat, so um, yeah, that's fucking annoying isn't it, especially when you're 2-0 up um, and, and, and see when you're cruising, obviously we did rotate today, um, which obviously does contribute to um, the poor performance. I, I just don't think we were at the races at all today. I thought 2-0 um, flattered us. I thought we we started really brightly. 20 minutes really, really good. And then from there, we just never really went into third gear. Um, Salah, I thought, was quite poor. His decision-making was, wasn't quite there. Um, Henderson's touch was bad and he wasn't just wasn't connecting with the ball as well as he usually does. Uh, both fullbacks poor. Gomez is his worst game in a long time. Moreno, 
Moreno Moreno's one of those players that you need to have, he needs to have a run in the side if he's going to play at all well. I, I've never rated him at all since well, at least since the early days. Um, I was not buying into him um, early this season, but that that is his best runner as, as a Liverpool player. Um, but he, he he was shocking today. Um, I'm trying to avoid cliches like it's one of them. Uh, you learn from it. It's a reality check. You know all, all the cliches that people. Um, blurt out when you when you get a bad result in the midst of a good run when it doesn't really matter it does matter because uh, it means we have to beat Stoke or Brighton or Chelsea we need to win one of those games and draw another so yes obviously that's annoying because if we'd have won this then we'd have only been one win away uh, but now we need a win and the draw but that should be fine I mean that that should take care of itself um, you know Stoke at home and Brighton at home I'm not concerned about that I mean if we can get four points from that then you know, we don't deserve to win the Champions League, and that's another cliche there. So, we go to Roma now, or well, we go to home to Roma. Um, anyway, I'm gonna get on the train and finish this off shortly. safely say summer is upon us. It feels great to get back from an away day and have still the weather like this, still most of the day to go, don't mind that. If I only had the three points with me. And sat watching the football, unfortunately United have just gone 2-1 up, but never mind. Uh, yeah, so I've just watched the highlights back and seen like the Hegazi incident again. Didn't really see them on the pitch. Um, I saw the Ings penalty, I was, that was right in front of me and that was an obvious penalty. I've not actually seen that back, but it just just a few sort of incidents there with the referee where, you know, if we had a bit of luck, maybe we would have, maybe it would have been a different outcome, but we do go 2-0 up anyway, and we still contrive to throw it away. So, you know, as much as the referee, I don't think was uh, up to scratch today, it's not really an excuse. Um, I thought West Brom maybe deserved the point on the balance of play anyway. Um, sorry if I'm distracted watching the game here as Harry Kane through, no. Um, so yeah. Lots to improve on, I suppose, uh, squad-wise. Um, this kind of did expose our lack of strength and depth, especially defensively. Um, you, you, I think you can upgrade on Moreno. I don't think we will, though, because I think Klopp's kind of happy with the squad. I, mean, I think it's a case of two or three additions rather than fixing sort of six or seven issues with the squad. Uh, I think Danny Ings will probably stick around. And I thought he did well today. Um, but, yeah, I mean, how, how Higazi stayed on the pitch, I don't know. Um, that punch on Danny Ings and... Um, but it is what it is. One point rather than three. Um, if, if we just beat, if we beat Chelsea, then it's all over anyway. Um, but yeah, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. Uh, but I feel like every time I go to a game at the moment, um, I come back happy. Um, so this is one of the only instances where, in recent memory, where I come away disappointed. Um, it's going to happen over the course of a season, especially when you're far from perfect, which we are. But we're very much getting there, and we have a big game on Tuesday. That is the focus now. Um, I don't think... Oh, man of the match. See, everyone's desperate to criticise Van Dijk. Um, opposition fans seem to be. Having looked at both goals there, yes, he's maybe slightly at fault for the first. He could win the initial header, um, but it's just too high for him. And he obviously ends up playing everyone on side. But I think it's hard to anticipate that he's going to need to be uh, playing everyone off. Firmino is the one that can win that at the back post as well. And then Firmino on the second goal is marking Rondon. I don't know why that is. I'm not entirely sure whether, whether we were organised enough at the back. Um, man of the match, I'm going to give it to Wijnaldum. I thought he was really, really good. Um, I think he's had a good second half of the season, just as he did last year. And yeah, he, he was really good in possession, used his body really well. He's, I think he's been in really good form recently. Um, Good passing, settled us down because Henderson was really poor. I thought, uh, but I thought Genie kind of carried Henderson through the game at, at times. Anyway, that's it. Um, leave a comment with your thoughts on the game, the referee, uh, man of the match, and how damaging you think that uh, loss of two points is. And yeah, subscribe to me if you're new. 
and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook and I'll see you next time where we'll be previewing Roma. <laughs>